You're listening to Labor Press's Blue Collar Buzz here on AM 970. We'll be right back after this. You're listening to Labor Press on AM 970, The Answer. And now back to Labor Press with your hosts, Neil Chappell and Bill Holfeld. Welcome back to Labor Press's Blue Collar Buzz here at AM 970 The Answer. I'm your host, Joe Maniscalco, senior editor at laborpress.org. I just want to let everybody know my my great co-host, Bill Holfeld, is off this week because he's uh, actually traveling in in the Caribbean. And uh, we miss Bill a lot, but he'll be back next week. And uh, right now, we're going to turn to Ray Rogers. He's the head of the Corporation Campaign. And we've been talking about corporations on this show, and Ray is a great corporate fighter uh, against corporate greed. And he's going to tell us uh, a little bit about our own Senator Chuck Schumer and uh, what's happening with uh, the Real Estate Board of New York. Ray, welcome to the show. Thanks, Joe. Glad to be here again. And as I always like to remind people that the Real Estate Board of New York, REBNY, really stands for the Real Estate Bullies of New York, ravaging every borough of New York City. And they are a plague on all New Yorkers. Now, given that, you think that our own Democratic uh, senator, representative, would, would be uh, critical of that kind of group? Well, you would think of that. And I've written Senator Schumer a letter uh, about a week ago. And uh, we're planning a protest uh, rally against the real estate bullies and racketeers at their 122nd annual banquet, which is being held up at Midtown uh, New York Hilton uh, between 53rd and 54th Streets. That's on January 18th, Thursday night from 6.15 to 7.45 p.m. To get more information, they can call me at 718-852-2808. Or look at our website, stoprebneybullies.org. And Rebney is actually going to be honoring the, the senator. Yes. Uh, the senator is one of uh, seven people that are receiving an honor. And so what I did is I wrote the senator a letter uh, trying to explain to him why I thought this was a bad idea. And I mentioned in my letter that uh, the fact is that the policies and practices of Rebney and what I refer to as the bullies and racketeers who head it are running roughshod, running roughshod over 99% and uh, doing great harm to tenants, construction workers, small businesses, and their employees throughout your state, Senator Schumer, particularly and particularly New York City. Um, who is he cozying up to? Uh, well, he's cozying up to the billionaire bullies that are involved in activity that's busting unions, trying to nullify, undermine, and nullify all of rent stabilization, that's uh, not allowing the Small Business Job Survival Act to be passed so that we don't have all the thousand businesses a month shutting down and all the employees going with them. So there are many things. And they also, by the way, Rebney is the major bankroller of what we call the IDC, the Independent Democratic Conference. Right. Talk about that. Well, what got me to send a letter to Schumer was um, I was writing him a letter, and then I also got a, a letter from Schumer, which a million other people probably got, uh, asking for a donation uh, to, for, to support the senator out in, uh, I think it was Minnesota or Montana. Please send $5. Uh, we must take back the U.S. Senate. And yet here's Senator Schumer is, is sitting there giving credibility to, uh, to the Real Estate Board of New York by accepting this award and going to their annual banquet. It's the big gala affair. Yet Rebney is bankrolling the Independent Democratic Conference, the IDC. And when I say bankrolling, they're bankrolling eight New York State senators who are Democrats but vote with Republicans on all, particularly on all real estate matters and on matters that are important to working people throughout the state. So this is a real problem. When I talk about protecting real estate interests, what is Schumer helping to protect? He's helping to protect the people, like the rent, just like the Rent Stabilization Association, but they're helping to protect uh, Rebney and support Rebney and give Rebney credibility, who's un- trying to undermine all the rent stabilization, which more than 800,000 families depend upon it here in New York State. Uh, they also seek to keep the billions of dollars in corporate welfare, tax abatements and subsidies coming into these both the uh, billionaire real estate developers, people like Related, people like uh, Tishman Spire, LaFract organization, uh, Two Trees Management. 
Uh, let me add one thing here, Joe, for any, all the listeners out there, particularly in the building trades so or any unions for that matter, okay, any work, anybody concerned about working people and what's happening. Rebney is the most powerful political lobby in the city and the state, and they are out to mine every th- th- worker, every labor union, anybody, any protections for people unless you're part of the 1%. Who are the people running Rebney, okay, that I raised with Senator Schumer? I talked about uh, the head of Related, Stephen Ross. He thinks workers are grossly overpaid. His net worth is $7.6 billion. He's, he wants to build the rest of Heads Hudson Yards. It's a $4 billion project, a building going up right now with some union labor. It's open shop. He wants to build the other 16 parts of this mega development project over the next decade, multi-billion dollar project, all open shop, which means more and more non-union labor. Well, we, as we call it here, broken shop. A broken shop, exactly. And, right, and get on these projects, right to work for less, no benefits. <clears throat> Um, fortunately, you know, there is a, a young fellow, a journeyman from the Sheet Metal Workers Local 28 that recently got elected on the executive board. His name is Marvin Tavares. He's out there every Thursday morning at 6 a.m. trying to rally the troops uh, to, to walk on, not to go on any more of these projects of related at Hudson Yards. All the building trade unions, he's trying to get them to come together, you know, to be able to uh, shut down these projects. Well, uh, he's also, I'm talking to Marvin, I'm going to be out there with him at some of these 6 a.m. projects, but also to rally them around the idea of really taking on revenue in a big way, the way that I'm trying to get the building trade unions to do. There's only one building trade union that has stood up and showed any guts, and that's local 46 of the metallic ladies, the iron workers, uh, Terry Moore. They're the only ones. I've tried to get meetings. I've said they'll call me back. Try to get meetings to sit down and talk to me about taking on the Real Estate Board of New York, which they all agree. Uh, are the, are the biggest force out there undermining the construction uh, industry, construction workers. And you, you can't get these uh, leaders uh, um, of a lot of these different unions to sit down and just talk. You'd think they would at least talk about how do we take on revenue? How do we take on in different ways? How do we take on uh, these uh, billionaire racketeers and bullies, these developers and these property speculators and these landlords? How do you take them on? Well, we got a damn good way to take them on. And uh, look, I've got 36 political candidates that ran for New York City office, including Carlina Rivera, who are holding up my anti-Rebney uh, brochure, repudiating Rebney. They're on our website. And we look we look to get more of the candidates, both past and present, as well as these people running for state Senate and assembly, doing the same thing. And Ray, I just want to remind everybody that if, if you're not familiar w- with uh, Rebney and you don't know exactly what they do, you, you, you p- produced a great animation called uh, Bullies, Rebney Bullies. That anybody can go onto YouTube, just uh, search for Rebney Bullies, and it's about a five-minute cartoon, very entertaining, very funny, and very educational. It's very hard-hitting. You can go to my website, StopRebneyBullies.org, and you can see it there, and use it any way you want. Anything on our website, use it any way that you want. You know, I was talking again about the bullies. I mentioned Stephen Ross with the related companies because he's a big focus right now, right? He's one of the top policymakers of Rebney. But just three others, just just for an example, you've got um, Richard LaFrac of the LaFrac organization, real estate tycoon and close personal friend of Donald Trump. Uh, he's worth uh, $6.3 billion. Jerry and Rob Spire, they're worth $3.9 billion. David and Jed Walentis, Two Trees Management, they're worth $2.1 billion. Every one of these leaders of Rebney think that construction workers are grossly overpaid and, and, uh, and they're uh, treated like, like uh, children. They're treated too softly. We've got to take a hard stand. Well, it's time that the damn building trades all stood up and took a hard stand against Rebney and every other union in the city if they want to save rent stabilization and start protecting uh, union workers. So, Ray, in, in addition to that, uh, our own uh, center is going to be fed it. January 18th at, at this Rebney event. Uh, instead of doing that, what would you like to see Senator Schumer doing in regard to Rebney? Well, I suggested to Senator Schumer in my letter, which is also on the website, stoprebneybullies.org, link up to the media section, and you'll see the description of when the rally is going to, uh, the protest is going to take place, as well as my letter. I said to, in my last sentence of my letter, I said, Senator Schumer, perhaps you should seriously consider removing yourself from this or any other event that legitimize and helps fund Rebney. And when you're helping to do that, you're helping to fund the IDC and keep the Republicans in control of the Senate in this state, which is out to undermine anything that working people stand for and unions stand for. 
So, Ray, we'll talk more about the the the, 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 the labor organized unions, their reticence to, to stand up to Red, to Remney as you see it. What do you think is behind that? Is it is it a situation where you know they're afraid to kill the the golden goose? Well, I, I think they're being uh, divided and conquered out there. Um, you know, there's a great story in, in Labor Notes publication that talked about what related this doing and how you've got one group of union workers doing work on this $4 billion project where all the other labor unions, for the most part, are being kept out of the project. The question is is whether all the unions can come together and uh, take on related. Now, there's one way of taking on related, certainly, is do exactly what Marvin is doing, trying to get the workers out there, build solidarity so that no workers would show up. I mean, they still need union workers, but before we had 85 90 percent union workers here on construction in New York City, none of these big projects would be built unless you had a, a, a project labor agreement, okay? Now you might have 35 percent, 40 percent, 45 percent. Okay, this is what the people, this is not me saying this, this is what union leaders are telling me. But then when I have a union leaders tell me, we're, we're scared stiff. Well, let me tell you, Joe, the labor movement was not built on people being afraid of taking these uh, robber barons on. It was built by people who have courage to stand up to organizations like Rebney. So I'm saying to every building trades leader, particularly out there right now, okay, sit down and talk with me and let's talk about taking on Rebney and either greatly diminishing the political dominance of this uh, institution or put them out of business. And yes, I mean put them out of business, just like on your show, they're trying to put the CWA workers out of business, they're trying to put the IBW Local 3 workers out of business when we talk about American Airlines and when we talk about charter communications, okay? Let's put Rebney out of business because they're the people b- behind a lot of this uh, uh, tax on organized labor in the city, in the state. All right, Ray, I think we got to leave it there. Uh, maybe in the meantime, some of those labor leaders will be joining you out there uh, on January 18th. Uh, right now, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up, and uh, we'll definitely invite you back again. You're listening to Labor Press's Blue Collar Buzz. We've been speaking to Ray Rogers, head of the Corporation Campaign, Inc. Come on back after these messages for more Blue Collar Buzz on AM 970 The Answer.